Today, Governor Ron DeSantis announced a proposal to reform Florida's higher education system. The governor's proposed legislation, if approved, would prohibit diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives. The governor wants to bring more accountability to the higher education system. On your side, Tristan Hardy is in the studio with us tonight. And Tristan, what does this mean for college students and teachers? Right, the governor is talking about what he calls bureaucracies and critical race theory. This would affect public colleges, and I caught up with the founder of a diversity training expert. If state lawmakers were to approve of this, she says there would be a lack of academic freedom. Governor Ron DeSantis believes higher education institutions are encouraging students to be social activists based off information he doesn't believe is true. But the dominant view is the, the uh, use of higher education under this view is to impose ideological conformity. Governor DeSantis says his proposal will get rid of diversity, equity, inclusion, and critical race theory bureaucracies. It will prohibit, quote, public institutions from supporting campus activities or programs that promote divisive concepts like DEI and CRT. Instead, we need our higher education system to focus on promoting academic excellence, the pursuit of truth, and to give students the foundation so that they can think for themselves. Diversity is more than just race or religion or ethnicity. Dr. Tammy Hodo hosts workshops, surveys, and training seminars to businesses that want to promote diversity. She describes the governor's proposal as problematic. So I guess he's looking at it from a colorblind perspective, which we all know is a fallacy, um, because that's just not the reality of the world we live in. Also in the proposal, Governor DeSantis wants to block institutions from using political filters in the hiring process. To Dr. Hodo, changes you like know, this in public so colleges crazy. would hinder, not help, students from learning. You know, and diversity brings about innovation in the workplace. And so I think it's very relevant and it's very important. And I think that you're going to create spaces that are not safe. The governor's proposal is expected to be taken up by state lawmakers this upcoming March. In the studio, I'm Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side.